welcome to Meet and Match digital show of Linea Pelle Fair. Hello, Stefan. Hi, Ulrita. How are you doing? Good to see you. I'm so glad to see you again for this new edition. Thank you so much for inviting me. Well, let's talk today about something which is related to your journey. Well, very happy to do so. You, you talk about, let me say, the zip. So, yeah, well, you know, um, when you ask me about uh, participating to this new Linea Pelle show online, let's call it this way. Um, I, uh, I, I was very curious because I, I really love the space you are in and really love the choice of the different materials that are so inspiring that I thought uh, maybe in times like this to talk about ZIP or the class blocker as it was called at the beginning uh, might be a way to come together since it's so difficult now to come together let's zip us together with this thought process and my idea uh, comes maybe more out of the design world uh, the upholstery where i grew up but um, working in different fields you discover how much there are certain things that are uniting all these working procedures of creativity and uh, the zip uh, is one of those because you can use the zip obviously in um, clothing and uh, we have to remind that uh, Lisa Schiaparelli was one of the first ladies in the fashion biz uh, that really started to use the zip as an ornamental element which is quite interesting but to go back in history I made a little research because it excited me we are starting to think about zip uh, since uh, 1851 which is quite amazing you wouldn't expect that uh, so early that people were already studying how to zip together materials and not only materials then uh, mm, finally in 1893 uh, this idea uh, became registered and in the 30s uh, in America but also in Japan companies uh, started to work on this concept and these companies now are transnational corporations huge big companies that are working on an enormous different field of zips which is quite amazing because we are using zips from the zips use you use it in the nasa uh, in high tech um, researches you uh, but you use it also to get back to my uh, original field in the upholstery and um, i think it's very fascinating uh, to imagine this uh, zip that uh, becomes like a dress when you have to upholster the very difficult um, uh, structures in the sense that uh, the design is made in a way that it gets very complicated sometimes the zip is the only way how to fix uh, complicated structures because you can't sew it so you put the fabric with these two ends which are the two ends of the zip and only through the zip you can fix the whole curves and structure like a beautiful female dress uh, which you have to put on very beautiful uh, female mm, coutures and um, this is what I love very much of my job that you can see fashion in design design in fashion and you can go from very uh, basic things like um, shoes I mean everybody needs shoes to, to run around and there you have zips 
but you have zips in the cushions, you have zips in the dress, and think about the zip in the trousers, which was a huge revolution when in 1937 they started to consider in a sartorial way the zip for men trousers and uh, obviously there they started also to think about uh, the embarrassment if the zip is going to open by itself and so they invented this mechanism that blocks the, the zip which is also something you are not considering every day but uh, how often if you have trousers with zip it can happen that the zip opens and you are in the uh, embarrassing moment of the open fly. And so there is this fly saver, a little button inside the uh, handle of the zip that blocks the zip. So, you know, I, I got incredibly uh, happy to talk about something that um, I think is not the main topic when you are uh, discussing uh, design or fashion or whatever, but it is in a certain sense, especially nowadays where we are going through this difficult period of segregation that everybody has to stay in his own place. The zip is a certain type of symbol because it's putting us together again. And this is what I really loved of the... Um, uh, preparation you did with all the different atmospheres that you are presenting now uh, at Linea Pelle because it is in a certain way like zipping together creativity, uh, choices, um, ideas and I think it is fundamental in a moment like this to talk about something that unites again because the big problem will be when we get out of this trauma uh, are we still able to zip together? <laughs> this is why I was, uh, uh, I wanted to talk about the zip today because the zip gives me a certain sense of uh, um, community. Okay, I think it's so fascinating listening to you talking about a zip May we say let's zip up because it's your sentence. And also because in the upcoming season, we have plenty of proposal of new zip where we can see that it's not anymore hidden, but it's highlighted by several coating, uh, color changeable shades. I've seen plenty of proposal from the companies. So this means that united, the two different, so put and merge together the two elements, as you said, in furniture, for upholstery, or for shoes, or for bags, or for dresses, the zip will become one of the central parts. I think that the zip is also extremely sexy because when you unzip a dress or a, a trouser or uh, can be also something very um, not only emotional but also very uh, sensual so um, this is also a theme uh, where i saw you have this transparent zip uh, the zip which becomes an ornament and I think in the 70s, it was a period where the zip was very much used in fashion, more big zips, colored zips. Uh, it was used more as um, an aesthetical um, involvement. And um, I think this is also important to remind and to, to follow up uh, historically how important this invention uh, which was simple something to unite to garments, became for um, the whole history of fashion design. But, and this is why I wanted to talk also about the zip, I wanted to remind that in, in uh, upholstery especially, uh, zips are fundamental. You couldn't uh, do one thing without zips. I mean, all the cushions, all the forms that you are giving also to feather cushions uh, in upholstery. The zip is the, the element which is uniting and uh, containing. 
And so, because you are pushing, uh, when you are closing a, a, a real well done feather cushion, you are, have to push the feathers inside in a way, and the zip is going to close it together and keep it together. So when you go into the scuba diving or into the NASA or into armament industry, which I don't want to discuss, but uh, I have to consider the zip becomes an element of extreme importance because the zip, the quality of the zip is saving your life. Correct. And I, I think also that the quality of the zip is also the content of the material, the sustainable material, recycled fibers, a recycled compound, which I see is one of the strong proposal from the suppliers. I that you have a lot of elements that are not the, the stars of uh, the fashion or whatever, but they are fundamental. There are a lot of small items you have to discover so i suggest to everyone to go to see uh, your place i really love uh, down um, in milan at the city center by the Cortis, which is an incredible choice you have done congratulations i really would like to tell everybody go and see this place because it's amazing how you can find and research and, and, and really develop your idea of um, of this big trade show that for me um, why did I think about the zip to talk to you because Linea Pelle for me is a zip it's zipping together all these elements all these different uh, qualities and it is so important and I really I'm really happy that you have this marvelous place in the city center and with that you are in a certain way the most central and most important fair of Milan because you deserve it because uh, you know everybody now we, we we just came out of a period where everybody wants to be a star and uh, Linea Pelle has been always a bit behind the curtains not showing off but the real stars are you because without you we couldn't zip together anything <laughs> This is my idea. Marvelous. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, it's, Stefan. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. And congratulations for the work you have done. <laughs>